Hey everybody, it's Melanie, the carnivore queen. I wanted to do a video today on what I eat in a typical day. Um, I eat pretty much the same thing every day. Only a few little bitty things change here and there. I eat, I would say about 95% carnivore. And then I do have um, a food that I, I'll show you that I eat two foods actually that are not carnivore, um, but they do well with my body chemistry. So I, I keep them in my diet. Um, the first thing I do uh, is breakfast. I have coffee. So I use Cafe Bustelo because it's like my favorite coffee in the world. It's super potent though. I mean, it'll, it'll get you pretty amped up. Um, so if you're sensitive to caffeine, I don't recommend this at all, but I love it. Um, I've been drinking this for years. I have to really watch it because if I overdo it, like if I do more than two cups, it's bad news. Anyway, I brew my own coffee in an old school coffee maker. And then I put two tablespoons of this Thai kitchen coconut cream looks like white cream, but it's hard. Uh, and this stays in the fridge. This stuff is like, oh, it's a, a godsend. If you can't have dairy and you miss that heavy whipping cream in your coffee, that's what I use for an alternative. Uh, and it just, it, it seems to not bother me and I continue to feel good. So I, I use it, uh, but it's not carnivore. It comes from coconut. Um, another thing that I eat, let's see, okay, back to what I was getting at, breakfast. I have coffee, then I have eggs. I have about four or five eggs, uh, and sometimes I'll even uh, do half yolk, half regular egg. So, I mean, it's like pretty concentrated. And I cook that in salted butter. I buy my butter from Sam's. I get a huge pack because I use it to cook and I use it to eat. Um, I cut it up on my food like somebody would put cheese on their food. I, like I used to always just like shred cheese on my food, everything, anything I ate. Uh, and now I just use butter. And butter does not bother me, um, but that is the only dairy that I have um, in, in my diet. So, you know, I'm just letting you know what I do. This might not be for you, but I just want to give you an example. Um, so I eat breakfast probably around 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. And then I'll go, gosh, hours. Um, oh, that's another thing. I eat grass-fed organic hamburger beef. I eat about mm, half a pound of this for breakfast with my eggs and my coffee. Then I put Redmond salt on all of this stuff. Um, let's see, so then lunchtime, probably around one, I'll have rotisserie chicken. Um, so, yeah, this is what I get from Sam's. And I get like four or five of them at a time and then I just freeze them in the freezer and then get them back out. And then I put them in the air fryer and they're so good. Um, so I'll have that. And another half a pound of hamburger with butter on it. And then dinner time comes around and I'm not really super hungry, but um, I will go ahead and eat something small, probably like four ounces of roast or steak, uh, and maybe a couple of hard boiled eggs with some salt on them, just to kind of not go too overboard, because if I eat a whole lot, especially a lot of fat before I go to bed, oof, it really bothers my stomach. Uh, it's just too heavy for, for nighttime. But, um, you know, I do not intermittent fast. Um, and that the only reason I don't do that right now is because I am breastfeeding and I do have to eat more than the average person right now, uh, or I guess the average female. 
So, yeah, I just wanted to do the video on what I eat in a day. Um, and like I said, sometimes I'll, I'll rotate some things out. Like if I don't have roast, I'll have shrimp. Uh, and I just cook shrimp in butter and salt and eat that. Uh, pretty much everything I eat is plain and boring and I love it. Um, so yeah, I went from a size 16 to a size 6. And by eating meat and fat, which is the complete opposite of what anyone will tell you to do. Anyway, hope this video helps somebody out there. And I promise I will do better with my videos. Uh, I got a video editing app and I need to work on that because my videos are like super old school. But they're going to get better. Anyway, uh, count carbs, not happiness. Bye.